Hey friends, D4 Guns here with a simple video of how to field strip a classic 1911 pistol. There isn't really much that's required as far as tools go. You could get a specialized bushing tool to remove it, but in the field they wouldn't use this. They would just use these. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so first off, as always, you make sure the firearm is unloaded. Visually inspect it. No ammunition. So now you're ready to start the field strip. So first, you're going to plug this inside to release the, bear, the slide bushing. And pull out the spring. Okay. And then from here, you move this piece to the other side. And you slide the gun to this position right here. It will line up with the slide lock. And then simply push that through. And then from here, the entire gun comes apart. Now from here, it's pretty self-explanatory. You slide the barrel out and the bushing and to put it back together is pretty much the reverse process. So let's put the barrel back into the slide. Put the spring assist right there. Okay. And then this can be a tricky part. For those who are amateurs at putting a 1911 together, you're going to want to line it up where it was with this pin that's still intact to hold in the slide lock. Many people have the dummy marks. I once upon a time did. But I think since then, I've gotten pretty good at it. So that goes in just like that. Slide it back. Put the barrel bush on. The spring and the plug. And then from here, you're going to want to keep it recessed until you put it all the way back in into its locking position. Now the whole gun is complete. Now we do a simple functions test. Everything seems to be there. And if you ever have any trouble, you could always refer to the direct and general support maintenance manual from the government that was issued to those who were using these in combat. And that's basically the bare essential of field stripping a 1911 and putting it back together. 